Hi, I'm Frank, and I play the oboe in the Cleveland Orchestra. I started playing the oboe when I was 10. When I was nine, I played the clarinet, but I switched to the oboe because in my hometown of Chicago, I heard great concerts of oboists playing, and I was really inspired by the beautiful tone, the magic in the sound, and all of the interesting peculiarities of this beautiful instrument. If you want to play the oboe, you'll have to keep a few things in mind. First of all, it's in three parts, the bell, the bottom joint, and the top joint. You don't need to be left-handed or right-handed. Either way, your right hand's gonna go under this thumb plate here, your left hand's gonna go on top. But let's not forget about the most important part, the fourth part, the reed. This is what vibrates. Sounds a little funny, but inside the oboe, music. The second thing you'll want to keep in mind is your embouchure. That's a funny French way of saying the way you put your lips together. For the oboe, you want to form an O, kind of like you were whistling. And for this, you want to employ the Goldilocks principle. Not too tight. <laughs> Sounds a little squeezed. Not too loose. Sounds a little floppy. Just right. You're also going to want to think about your air. You're going to generate it from here, and you're going to want to keep a constant pressure like you're blowing up a giant balloon. The third thing you're going to want to think about is the most important thing about the oboe. We get to give the A. Any instrument can play an A, but the oboist gets to play the A. This is the note that tunes the orchestra. Before every rehearsal, before every concert, the oboe comes out and plays the tuning note. So everyone is relying on you. One of the best things that I find about playing the oboe is that I get to work on my own voice. I get to work on things that I want to do. I get to work on things that I want to pull out of the music. But then I get to come into the orchestra and apply those things that I've learned, that I've discovered into the greater community of the orchestra. So it's not only about your individual playing, it's about how your individuality fits with the whole. And that's what I think is so great. This is a great time to learn an instrument. Which instrument will you choose?